Hi guys, I'm here in Tampere at the South Park Festival with Tor. Hey guys! Hey. Hello! Yeah. Greens! How does it feel for you to be in Finland? Well, this is my fourth time in Finland and I'm very happy to be here. It feels like home. Oh, for me too. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts, it's wonderful and we're very excited about the show tonight and we're going to give it everything we got. This is our, uh, well, Tom, Ted, and myself, this is our second time being over here, and the crowds over here are the best. Go wild. We had an amazing time playing Porosphere last year, and it, for Tom and myself, that was our, our first time playing with Thor, and, and uh, experience of my life. Cool. How is it for you to be the new guy? Uh, well, I'm technically not the new guy anymore. This yeah. guy's the new guy. How is, it, new guy. how is it for you to be the new guy, the brand new guy? Uh, it's cool. It's a blast. You know, it's great, you know, just getting up there and... Rocking out, you know, it's a good it, time. It is surreal, though, to be to be playing with this legend here, and uh, you know, just hanging out with him backstage. And it, you know, he's such a nice guy. But up, when he gets on stage, he transforms into the Rock Warrior. Wow. <laughs> and what did you think about tour before you joined the band? What was your image? Well, I, I loved you know all the music beforehand. So I mean, to kind of be up close and like you said he transforms on stage right so it's very powerful i guess you could say how did you get this idea to mix like bodybuilding and a mythical hero with this hard yeah. music that you do? yeah well i uh when i was younger uh, like when i was seven years old actually i started bodybuilding uh and 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 then as i got into my teens i listened to heavy metal music and it helped me uh train it worked worked me into a frenzy and i got into bands like led zeppelin black sabbath and uh, I was also entering bodybuilding championships. I won Mr. Universe. No, and Mr. World Canada. You're really a, a big, a big number, right? Y yeah, yes. yeah, yes. I, I won 40 titles. So I decided wow. to incorporate uh, muscle and music because <laughs> I thought they would work well together. Uh, you know, I, back in th those days, there was Alice Cooper. He used to hang himself, and Gene Simmons breathed fire with Kiss. And I thought, okay, well, I'm going to be a superhuman gladiator on stage and, and sing a searing brand of rock music and, uh, and, and, and combine both together. And I would bend steel in my teeth and I would smash bricks and do superhuman feats of strength on stage as my showmanship, right? And uh, so that was back in 1973 when I started Thor and here we are now. Yeah, it's an amazing concept. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been quite exciting all through the ages, and I've developed, you know, always added different things, and kind of I feel uh, that it's progressed over the years, too. Like, musically, mm -hmm. the, the, the power and strength is in the music, actually. And we, we proved it. It's not just the gimmick, right? It's just not th just theatrics. It's the music that counts, too. And we prove that we can also do that. Yeah, it's very impressive. I, uh... I can't wait to see you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and hear us too. Of course, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, tour life can be rough sometimes. Did yes. you have the feeling that your experience as a bodybuilder helps you to deal with it? Oh yeah, um, like I played football, uh, which is a tough sport. Bodybuilding is a tough sport. Uh, there's a lot of competition, and you, you, you try to show your muscles and everything, and you're cr uh, criticized by so many judges. You know, oh, his calves are not quite diamond shaped, or his biceps, <laughs> yeah. are, you know, and I've competed against Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, um, but, but the bodybuilding helped me as a young man co be comfortable on stage. And then later on, when I was, uh, offered uh, to do a show in Hawaii called What Do You Say to a Naked Waiter? <laughs> and I was naked on stage in front of uh, thousands of women. And then, and then I, I said, if I could be naked on stage and sing, then, then I could be comfortable anywhere. So that's kind of got me very comfortable on stage. And I continued on performing and I'm, I'm totally happy uh, to be out there on stage. And cool. it feels like I'm in my living room. Cool. Can I see this show somewhere? Is it on YouTube somewhere? Uh, <laughs> 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 Gotta do that research. I think there are a few things on YouTube, though. Yeah. But, uh, I think I will go look for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I come over to you. I don't okay. want to neglect you yeah, guys here on this corner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Last year you published a new album, yep. Beyond the Pain yes. Barrier. How did you experience the recording process? Actually, I was supposed to do a track and it got rushed and I got skipped. Oh, oh no, no, it's, it's 
so you have to talk to all, you, you have to talk to these guys about that album. But I have recorded a track since so then. You, so you experienced it as, as a big disappointment, or no? Oh yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it sucked. John and I, John and I wrote some songs together. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And uh, I recorded the album without ever meeting Thor. I didn't meet Thor until yeah. the, the it was first a drop, time. Dropbox, uh, right? Yeah, so. we, we we would send files across the country, across the world. We had we had uh, John in, in Minnesota and Thor in Vancouver, British Columbia. Mm -hmm. I was in Denver, Colorado, and we had musicians in Sweden as well, and cool. all, all over the place. So it was cool. truly a global album. So um, yeah, I guess the connection with all so. When Thor came to Minneapolis back in 2016, I was in charge of putting together the opening band. Mm -hmm. So, you know, basically treat that as the audition, right? We did a couple more gigs down in Chicago and whatnot, and he decided, you know, okay, I need you to put together a band, let's do an album. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what you see here is the live band, and all these guys are gonna be on the, the new album that we're working on. Cool, what's the title? Can you already tell something about the new album? Will he get his own track this time? <laughs> he, he'll, he'll be playing all the drums on the new album. <laughs> now we, have a, we have it proved here on video. Yes. Well, we did uh, the Muscle Rock song. Yeah, we did the Hail the so Muscle I, Rock So I did song. record that one. So I have uh, one Thor song under my belt now. And can I ask you, what is the craziest thing you ever did on tour? Who wants to answer first? <laughs> yeah, I, guess, I guess I'm the craziest guy. So yeah, I believe that. Uh, one time, um, I want to try a new strength feat out. Uh, so I want to lift the heaviest person in the audience uh, with my neck. And they put a harness around my neck. I was up on a platform, and the place was packed. And I said, I challenge. I, want, I will lift the heaviest person in the audience with my teeth. And so a 400-pound person came up on a stage, right? 400 pounds. <laughs> and went into the harness and I went up in the platform, put the, you know, uh, the harness around my neck, I put the chain in my teeth mm -hmm. and I was lifting them up, lifting them up and then the whole platform broke and we tumbled into the crowd. Oh, no. the, the 400 pound person and myself, we crushed the thing, oh, people no. in the front audience. Did anyone get seriously injured? Uh, I think there was a, a twist. <laughs> no, there was, a, uh, yeah, some people in the front row got a little hurt, you know, oh. but yeah. But it was not your fault. At least your teeth didn't break. No, uh, my neck didn't break, my teeth didn't break, but my pride broke. Oh. No. <laughs> and that's even, do you want to hug now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. And do you have crazy tour stories too? You know, oh, yeah. I'm uh, <laughs> sure we do. Uh, well, Tom, do you want to tell them uh, about Porosphere? <laughs> okay, so I was in the band for years called Impaler and we played Hamburg, Germany and I was telling these guys um, the last song I threw the drumsticks out to the crowd mm -hmm. and uh, walking off stage and Bill goes hey we got an encore let's go back and like, shit I don't have any sticks so I found like a broken one and managed to make it work and you know we have a good laugh about it yep. so Porosphere last year we're playing the stuff. I uh, get the picture from the drum riser of the crowd and everything. I throw out the sticks. Go back there. Uh, okay, let's go do another one. Can I swear? What's the word? V2. 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 I threw my sticks out. <laughs> and yeah, I've had uh, Steven, Seagull, or Steven Siegel's drummer in back. I guess I just give me that. <laughs> so if he watches for some reason, Hey, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the sticks. Yeah, keep the yeah. sticks. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool, cool story. And do you have something? Uh, we were playing in, in Portland, Oregon, and uh, we finished the set, and I sit down, and I, and I go, Tom, come sit down next to me. And, and I notice there's something on the chair, and I reach down and pick it up, and someone had left a gun on the chair. Oh. So that was that was pretty crazy scary. But good loaded. that you didn't get yeah, yeah, loaded gun. Yeah, so really bad. I yeah. Guess. No one no injuries with that though. But that can only happen in the US, I think, oh, with I the gun. Yeah. yeah. You could have could have had a hot seat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Then he couldn't be a naked waiter anymore afterwards. <laughs> no, no, no. I left that all behind. <laughs> the naked waiter, yeah. But maybe on YouTube. Let's see. <laughs>
<laughs> and do you wait? I can come over again no. here. <laughs> I like this, this natural situation. Yeah, <laughs> do you have crazy tour stories on this side? Well, this is this is my first tour, so not not story. not yet. This is, yeah. this, is, this is the crazy story. This is the story. story yeah. <laughs> I mean, so we played uh, Muscle Rock in Sweden, and man, I got the call to play that what like five days I think before. Yeah. Before oh. that show, he he came in at very last moment's notice. Uh, we we had a uh, last minute lineup change, so he had to you know oh, learn a few new songs and kind of get everything prepared in a very short time. Yeah. And he was so good that you kept him. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Try. Yep. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know, if, if he didn't, uh, if he didn't do such a good job, we would have left him in Sweden. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Off in the country. We have a <laughs> we have a contract with his mom and dad that lasts one year at least. <laughs> so, yeah, so. so many steak dinners. <laughs> if he messes up, he gets chucked out in the crowd. <laughs> oh, okay. Like uh, involuntary crowd surfing. Yeah, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to your fans in Finland? Uh, I just want to say I'm so happy to be here again, and I promise you a really fantastic show tonight, something you won't ever forget. It's going to be a little different tonight, and uh, we're just going to have a good time. Real proud to be here with the band. You know, they're great guys. I think the Finnish people are wonderful people, like yourself. Oh, thank you. I'm from Germany, actually. Germany. Thank you. I did accent coaching. V, v, v Gates. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I can tell you the truth about the word Vito. The Finns use it like fuck, like when yeah. the banana milkshake falls on the MacBook, fuck. Okay. Yeah. But it means literally can't. But everybody okay. says it. Only that you know what you're saying, but everybody says it. If you say Vito on stage, yeah. they will love it, I think. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I better watch what I say up there. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we want to come to Germany. We have some good friends there, Iron Thor. You know, they, do, they have tribute band. Oh. Yes, uh, you know, and they play our music cool. but we're gonna come there in person uh, we hope the Wacken Festival we've been talking to them about doing a big show there I was just thinking that you yeah. would be perfect for Wacken that yeah would be yeah a big plus for them to have you fantastic we love to be <clears throat> come to your country as well thank you guys so so thank much you. it was fun thank yes you. I have a great gig okay thank you, thank you guys oh, one more. Uh, yes <laughs>